everyone, it's Kelly, and welcome back to another episode of Dying the Dead. Before we get started with today's video, I just want to let you guys know about this amazing shop called Just Us Freaks, ran by my friend Erin. She hand makes beautifully strange, cruelty-free, affordable bone and animal jewelry. And I'm wearing one of the necklaces right now, it is the Human Tooth Necklace. I have a few pieces here that I want to show you guys, and I'm also going to be featuring throughout the video. Everything that she uses in any one of her pieces comes from either dead things on farms, roadkill animals, or dead things that she finds while hiking. It is all cruelty free and it was dead when she found it. pieces that I am featuring in today's video, you can go right here to her Etsy shop and she has a wonderful selection. She also does custom orders. Her links will be down below so please make sure to go check out her stuff. It is amazing. In this video I'm going to be taking the bird through the trypsin digestion. Here are some of the things that you're going to need. My specimen, the bird, an empty jar, a scale, tweezers, lab gloves, goggles, your 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, distilled water, sodium borate or borax, weighing papers or weighing boats, a stir stick, and last but not least, the most important chemical of this step, trypsin. I'm going to be placing my specimen, the bird, into the trypsin solution anywhere from one to several days or until the body becomes limp and the skeleton is clearly visible. The reason I'm saying one to several days is because as the specimens become larger, they have to sit longer in the trypsin in order to become slightly transparent, in order to become limp and to see their skeletons. Also, something to note that if this step takes longer than three days or if the solution turns blue, you're going to want to make a fresh trypsin solution to put your specimen in. Some of you may be asking, what's trypsin? Hmm? Well, trypsin is a proteolytic enzyme that digests muscles and tissues. The trypsin digestion today is going to degrade and soften the tissues, and it's also going to remove the alcine blue stain from any of the non-cartilaginous tissues. I'm going to start off by making a saturated sodium borate or borax solution. To make a saturated sodium borate or borax solution, you're going to continue to add sodium borate to distilled water until it no longer dissolves into the solution. So what that means is as you keep adding sodium borate to your solution and you keep mixing, you're going to start seeing particles form at the bottom of your solution. And once that happens, you know you have a saturated solution. For a 100 milliliter trypsin digestion solution, you have a 3 to 7 plus 1 gram of trypsin ratio. So what that means is you have 3 parts saturated sodium borate to 7 parts distilled water plus 1 gram of trypsin into that 100 milliliter solution. So as you increase the amount of solution, you will also need to increase the amount of trypsin. So for every 100 milliliters, you will use 1 gram of trypsin. Alright, so let's get started. For this step, you're going to need a small pan. Measure out and add 250 milliliters of distilled water and then turn the heat on high. You won't need this much saturated sodium borate solution to prepare your solution, but it's just easier to measure out what you need from a larger quantity. Now wait for the water to get to a rolling boil. Once there, you can put the heat on low or simmer. Next, add in some sodium borate and stir it to dissolve it into the water. You may need to add more sodium borate to ensure that you are making a fully saturated solution. So you want to be looking for, as you're stirring and adding sodium borate, that there are particles starting to sit at the bottom. Once you have mixed in as much sodium borate as you can and you see particles sitting at the bottom undissolved, turn off the heat and let your solution cool to room temperature. I will be transferring my solution into a different container so the crystals do not form in the pan. One eternity later. Now that the solution is at room temperature, I can measure out the amount that I need. The sodium borate crystals that have formed at the bottom of my container can be discarded as you do not need them.
Now that I have my trips and digestion solution complete, I'm going to be transferring my specimen, the bird, from the distilled water from the rehydration step into the trips and solution. So here's my bird in the trips and digestion. I'm going to be leaving it in the trips and digestion for anywhere from one to several days. It really just depends on my specimen, it depends on how it looks, because I'm going to be looking for a lint specimen, and I'm also looking for the muscles to become transparent so I can view the skeleton inside. Three days later. Before I get into showing you guys what my bird looks like now, I want to kind of talk about some important things about enzymes and about trypsin. So as we all know, trypsin is an enzyme, and enzymes are biological molecules or proteins that act as a catalyst. These help complex reactions occur in the body, in life, and everywhere. Since an enzyme is a protein, if the temperature is too high or there is too much heat, the enzyme will denature. And what that means is the bonds that are holding the enzyme together start to break apart, and you lose the enzyme structure. And when you lose an enzyme structure, you also lose its functionality. And what that means is the enzyme will no longer be able to work properly or will just simply not work at all. The importance of this is that when you are preparing your saturated sodium borate solution, you want to make sure that that is cooled to 100% room temperature. Because if you add your trypsin in while it's still a little bit warm or anything like that, it will denature the enzyme. And this will prolong you in the trypsin digestion step because you will have to prepare a new solution and you will have to wait a few more days as it's digesting the muscles and tissues. Here is my specimen in the trypsin digestion solution. The reason I was talking to you guys about enzymes and about enzyme denaturation is because I accidentally denatured my trypsin enzyme in the first solution that I made. I was being a little too hasty and I added my trypsin powder in while the solution was still a little bit fairly lukewarm, so my trypsin digestion solution that I had my bird in first just didn't do the job, it didn't work, it didn't, it didn't work at all actually, which is exactly what happens when you heat up enzymes. The enzymes lose their function, they lose their structure, and they just simply don't work anymore. So I denatured my own enzymes and I prolonged my own process. Since this has been in a fresh or new trypsin digestion solution for a few days, we're just going to take a look at what it looks like now. So don't forget to read the description and check the links and things down below. If you guys have any questions about what I'm doing, please comment and I will get back to you. Don't forget to thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more videos and if you like what you're seeing. Also, be sure to check out Just Us Freaks. I will link her Facebook, Etsy, and Instagram in the links down below. And maybe even check out her shops. Maybe even purchase some of her stuff. They're really neat. There's a ton of selection and she's super cool. So join me next time where I'm going to be preparing the Alizarian Red or the Bone Stain Solution for my specimen. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!